Today, I'm going to show you how to color grade your clips and save it so you can use it on other projects, but also share it with your friends. So what I like to do is start off by finding the hero shot. This is the most important frame of the clip. I would say it's right here. Now, if I right click my first node, I can relabel it to contrast. And guess what this node is for? contrast what i like to do is start off with my curves and i make two points one at the top one at the bottom and then one in the middle now this bottom one i'm going to pull down and the top one you guessed it push up effectively what i've done is added a bit of contrast and if i click the lower left hand corner of my node i can turn it off and you can see what it looked like before now if you're completely new to color grading this entire section right here can be a little intimidating the offset is your overall video so if i push in uh, uh blue that's affecting every color space your gain is all of those highlights so things like your light sources your sky so if i push in blue you can see how it affects the image a little differently gamma is all of your midpoints again you can see how this is affecting the image just slightly different. And finally, the lift, that is your shadows, all those dark parts of your image. Now you saw me pushing color into my video, but we can also adjust the levels. So for example, the gain, if I wanna bring it down, there's this wheel down here. If I move it to the left, you can see my image gets a little bit darker. So what I like to do is refine this contrast that I just added. For example, right here is a little too dark, but the rest of the image isn't dark enough. So what I like to do is start with my shadows or my lift and just start tweaking it ever so slightly. Next, what I'll do is I'll go to my gain, that is those highlights, and then finally my gamma. Now I can adjust these levels even further by adjusting my shadow right here. I can also bring down my highlights with this right here the last thing i like to do is tweak my saturation just a little bit because i think this is a little too saturated so bringing it down ever so slightly you could also add a little bit of color boost if you want once again i will turn off this node and just check what it looked like beforehand nice all right now we can actually get into the color grading side of things technically we could do everything in one node but it's gonna get a little confusing and kind of annoying. So let's add in another one. I'm going to right click this node and go to add node, add serial. But I'm not gonna stop there. I'm going to right click once again, add node, but this time add parallel and I'm gonna add in one more. Now, why did I do this instead of adding two more parallel nodes? Well, you see, one time I watched a video where they explained the advantage of the parallel node over the serial node, and I can't remember that information. What I can tell you is that it mixes these three nodes together to essentially combine them into one node, and it affects your video a little differently than adding them in serial, so... Moving on. Okay, so the way that this works is almost like layers with the top node affecting everything below it. And I like to label this one my color grade. What I like to do is start off with my offset. Remember, this is my entire video. So I'll push in a little bit of teal bluish color kind of in this area right here. Next, my gamma, I'm going to push in the opposite direction. Remember, this is your midpoints and it's kind of balancing everything out. If I turn this node off, you can see there's a slight difference. Notice how the shadows down here have a little bit of a blue hue to them. Typically, this is how light sources work. Shadows will have a cooler tone to them <laughs> compared to their light source. So because our light source should be a little warmer, uh, the sky, let's, let's make that red. Remember our gain, that is our light points. So I'm just gonna start pushing in a little bit of red, but notice how it only really affects these areas. Well, to balance that out, we gotta move over to our lift. We pushed in a little bit of red, so we'll push in a little bit of blue here. Now let's check out what it looked like before. 
Whoa. <laughs> hey. Now this is looking pretty good, but it's a little too pink for my liking. What I'm gonna do actually is go back to my contrast node and bump up the contrast. Then I'm gonna go back to my color grade and start messing with the temperature. Because pink is a warm color, I'm gonna start pushing a little bit of blue to get that cool tone. The other thing I could do is mess with the tint. As you can see, there's green and there's like magenta or, or pink. I don't know what you would call that. I'm gonna go away from the other color though. So something like that, just a little touch. Now let's just compare this to the original image. If I highlight my contrast and my color grade node and hit control D, I can turn them both off at once. <laughs> okay. Now I know what you're saying. What are these two nodes for then? We just did all of our color grading in this top node. Well, this middle node, that's for glow. So open up your effects, go down to glow. There it is. Add that in, boom. Now our sky is starting to look kind of like an actual sky. Okay, you got me. Those of you who touch grass, you guys know the sky isn't blown out like this. However, if you were to take a picture that includes the sky, it's really hard to expose for both the sky and whatever your subject is. So this is technically true, right? Anyways, we gotta adjust some settings here, okay? So your shine threshold, that is how bright an object is for it to get affected by the glow. So the lower we go, the more glow we're gonna get. So I'm gonna actually raise this up just a little bit so it's mostly the sky being affected by it. Now what I'm going to do is bring up my gain. Yeah. Bring up my gamma. Uh, maybe bring it down. Kind of depends. Spread. That's looking pretty good. I lied. I want the spread to be up a little bit higher. There we go. Okay. Before we move on, let's just scrub through real quick and double check. Make sure everything's looking good because at this point, you could technically ship this. The, I, I like the way this is going so far. All right, this last note is actually for blur. What I like to do is add in radial blur. Now this is a little too much, so I'll bring down that smooth strength, something like that, just so those outer edges are still blurry, but uh, you know, the inside it's still legible. You like, you can, you can tell what's going on. Anyways, go over to your power window, find the circle, and then you'll notice how the blur went away. Well, that's because it's it's actually inside. So we have to invert this by hitting this button right here. And now we can just size this up to what we want, something like this. And then this outside right here, that's your softness. And I'll bump that up a little bit and maybe make this a little bit bigger. The very last thing I like to do is after my parallel node, I'll add a serial node and then just search up vignette, pop that in. Hey, that's a little much. So I'm going to switch it over to advanced, make it bigger and bring up that softness a little bit. And there you go. That's how you color grade your clips. Now, let's say you had another clip in the timeline that you wanted to apply this color grade to. Kind of like what we got going on over here. So how do we transfer this color grade to this clip? Well, what we need to do is open up clips and you'll see the two clips, the one with color grading and the one without color grading. All you have to do is middle mouse button click the clip with color grading and it gets applied. Now, let's say you had more than one clip you wanted to apply the color grade to. You don't have to go through each individual one and then apply the color grade. You can hold left shift, left click, and select all of them at once and then apply the color grade to all of the clips. Now, let's say you love this color grading so much that you want to save it for later projects and maybe your friends want it too. To do that, right click your video, grab a still, and then open up gallery. Hey, that's the still we created. So if you want to save this for yourself, you hit this button right here and then take that still and drop it into your power grades. That That's it. You open up power grades and look, you can see other color grades that I have done and you just middle mouse, middle mouse button, click them. And look, this changed, it changed. I'm applying color grades. If you want to share this to a friend, what you can do is right click export and then save this as a DPX file and send that to them. 
To apply the color grade, all you have to do is drag and drop it into your stills and then just middle mouse button click it. There you go. So yeah, that's how you color grade your videos. Also, that's how you save your color grades and you can share them to your friends. If you want these color grades, feel free to join the Discord. Uh, the link's in the bio. That's the end of the video. Goodbye.